What's going on, guys? It's your boy Young Lee Jr. here. So, um, you know, on my timeline, we had social media. We have President Biden. They was talking about when the journalists went to report. Oh, he's tripping up the stairs. It wasn't really downstairs. It was like up the stairs on the Air Force One when he was boarding it to actually uh, have a meeting with the Asian community leaders in Atlanta, uh, action in response uh, to the that he was massacred that happened right um, by Robert Aaron Long. Okay. And, and I think he should go there. I mean, that's something, you know, as a president uh, that you need to do, live in a democracy. You need to, I don't know, he's going to talk about to the gun lobbyists. I think on uh, one of his uh, presidential campaign, he wanted to have some type of gun control and um, the decriminalization of marijuana as well, even though that has nothing to do with the case. But I heard that in the white staff, he fired, like, well, he resigned five staff, um, White House staff members because of their marijuana uses. And that was a whole nother thing. But get into this man i mean people <laughs> i mean when i looked at it i'm like okay he's tripping up he's not the first president who done it i mean you even have um donald trump um he even talked about how slippery it is he said it's like walking on you know ice skating in a way you have gerald ford um back in 1975 when he was um you know walking down the stairs from air force one he said i mean it's very slippery and betty ford she remained her composure which is his wife and i mean i mean it's really not that fun. i mean he fell multiple times so just gonna show you that you know, we were concerned about his mental and his physical health. I mean, back in November, he had he suffered like a fracture, you know, a hairline fracture on his foot. OK, um, when he was walking the dog on major back in November. So it's just like, dang, OK, well, when I heard that, I'm like, dang, you know, you, you know, he's the world's oldest president. He's 78 years old. My thing is, regardless if you're on the left wing or you're the right wing, you're independent. He is the leader of the free world. If he succeed, we succeed. And I'm thinking, you know, yeah, I'm, you can criticize some of the things that he said um, in little different remarks about the black community when he was the senator. And then, you know, you appointed Kamala Harris and it's known for locking black men up, you know, when she was the prosecutor in San Francisco. I mean, if you said she was doing her job, but that's a whole nother thing, man. And he was a supporter of the crime bill, locked up black men on fallacious charges, three strikes rules, you're out. And therefore, they want to be able, uh, good providers in the community. It's so many things, man. You know, it's a little contradictory. So you're thinking like, okay, well, how can we support you? Or oh, we just want to get 45 out so we can continuously move forward. But look at this. Let's... I just pray that, you know, his and his administration, we he's working on eliminating this crisis that's going on, this economic crisis, um, getting the $15 in minimum wage. Um, then on top of that, when President Biden, you know, he got to address the um, the pandemic that's going on. Many business, businesses, small businesses are unable to recover, okay? Even if they want to, you know, uh, pay their employees a little bit more, do they have enough means or funds, okay, to um, employ their employees that amount of type of money and then if they don't then then therefore their products is going to increase so it's a little catch 22 with that then we got to think about too if it's that um you know you got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of americans died from the COVID 19 but the thing is too uh good thing about georgia the senators we have Raphael warnock and john ossoff um actually made it um, really great to push the american rescue plan which is aka known as the COVID 19 relief package and that's going to benefit at least 88 percent of Georgia residents, which is a, a really a great thing, man, that, that can benefit from the $1,400 stimulus package. It's supposed to be, I really wanted the 2000 but 1400 is better than the $612 that we got previously, all right, from the Trump administration. So, I mean, I just pray that, you know, whatever, I'll just keep that behind us. That Joe Biden, he will actually have this great um, cabinet advisors to go in here and let's tackle this pandemic. Let's get back to work and let's get back to uh, the economy going back rolling, man. I mean, so many accusations going on. Like, you got the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, talking about he may resign. We don't know how true this is with the sexual allegations, but at the same time, man, as a country, we're very divided, man. I mean, you got still this hatred that's going on, people killing each other, a mass amount of uh, people. I mean, you got Asian people, I guess, so-called right now, are, are fearful in this country. It's a lot of fear and, and, and a lot of things right now. People who are supporting NRA, they are fear, they are afraid that, oh, man, you know, you're going to take our guns away. I mean, people uh, like upset they can't defend themselves on certain things. So it, it's, it's crazy, man. So the thing is, too, is that I just wish that, you know, instead of focus on these petty stuff, let's focus on, like I said, the COVID. Um, these relief packages it's getting the economy back booming i'm um, talking about it's getting these well there are a lot of jobs but at the same time let, let's keep let's keep us happy in a way man you know let, let's let's boost the let's i don't know man the morale in a way in this country man because we're just so divided 
in so many ways, you know, and I don't wish the president to fail. I ain't even, you know, even you're not a big supporter of Trump, I didn't wish him to fail. I didn't wish, I don't wish Joe Biden to fail at the end of the day because he's the leader, you know, a uh, free world right now. So until it's four years where he gets, you know, he get blessed enough to be reelected. At the same time, he has to be competent. And I think he is, but I'm pretty sure he has someone on his team that can manage his health because, you know, he's going out here. He's taking on a lot of things right now. You know, he got to meet with the dictators. He got to meet with people from China. He got to meet with, uh, you know, this so many things, man. Um, negotiations the sanctions um the peace talks that's going on from the u.s envoy uh, so we want to go back to unnecessary war it's a lot of things man north korea so uh i just pray that he makes the right decision so let's continue to focus on that instead of just like you know clowning him that he's you know he fell down the stairs or whatever man i mean look he got back up he saluted and he continued to move forward bro so i mean i kind of want to address that you know as, as americans that's that's let's promote this positive let's move forward let's just hope that he gets the best help that he needs and he actually signed and read these type of bills you know that's getting passed through senate in the congress in, in the house you know through the 117th congress man because they're the one who holds a lot of the weight so but that's all i really have to say man i'm not gonna draw this video too long you guys swing like comment subscribe share this video um, you know, our politics are pretty uh, kind of trash in a way because, I mean, you can't really have an intellectual conversation with anyone without uh, arguing, bickering, or just uh, silencing someone or you want to, you know, punish them because they're a Democrat or they're liberal, Republican, conservative, they're independent or they didn't vote at all. We still are Americans in America today and we're still going through this, especially if you're in the middle class, lower middle class, upper middle class. I mean, this, this pertains to you. You know, so that's like 70, 70 percent of people in this country. But it's all I really have to say, man. You guys, tune in, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm out. Deuces.